Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 834. This is Expendables 4. It's been four balls. Expendables 4. This is a 2023 movie that is directed by Scott Wild. W A U G H. So this is the fourth movie in the Expendables franchise that is from Ryan State Films and Millennium Media. I saw this movie on October 14, 2023 at Cinema Milford 16 in Milford, Ohio. So, this draws the Festival Stallone, Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, and other actors and actresses like Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, Randy Cultural, Megan Fox, Tony Jaw, Eco Urias, Jacob Skiripio, Levi Tran, and Andy Garcia. This has a new generation of stars joins the world's top action stars in Expendables 4. They are a team of elite mercenaries. That, that are tasked to take down bad people. Armed with every weapon they can get their hands on and the skills to use them, the Expendables are the world's last line of defense and the team that is called when all other options are off the table. But new team members with new styles and tactics are going to give new blood a whole new meaning. Ooh, so I personally enjoy this film. I know it's not received too many good credits, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, so this movie only features a few actors from previous Expendables movies, like Professor Stallone as Barney Ross, Jason Statham as Reed Christmas. Although Jason Statham has a more prominent war in this film than Sylvester Stallone. Um, so, I heard the movie had some production issues, and that's why it took so long for it to come out. Um, now, Expendables 4 is all rated. And they agreed and they wanted to make sure it stayed all rated after the third film received a PG-13 rating and it caused a dislike by many fans of the franchise. So the fourth film, which is Spin Four Balls, they replaced the A in Expendables with the number four. So it features the Expendables on a new mission. And this involves a submarine and some very bad people that want to have they want to use a very special weapon to take down innocent people and the expendables are the last line, line of defense the world can count on featuring some of the older actors along with some new actor stars in the franchise this movie definitely delivers a lot of action blood and suspense. Um, I won't say what happens, but let's just say something happens in the movie that takes a tone on the Expendables themselves. And like I said, Jason Statham's War as We Christmas is more personal, is more prominent. He's more of the focus of this film, or I wouldn't say focus, he's more. Unlike the previous film, so so Sylvester Stallone was the main star. You can say that Jason Statham is more of the main star, as as I heard that in for future Expendables movies, if they were to make them, Jason Statham might be the weed. Statham's, Jason Statham's character as Reed Christmas might be the weirdo of the Expendables, because I've been hearing that Sylvester Stallone might be leaving the franchise. But we will see. I would like to do to be a Spendables 5, but we will have to see. Um, 
But yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It definitely delivered a lot of action and suspense. And yeah, it it felt different that not all of the main stars from previous films didn't come back. At least a few of them did, and at least new actors ha all have appeared in this film. So I hope those the same people return in the fifth film if they were to make the fifth film. But we will see. So that's me movie, movie review of Spendables 4, Pre-C2 from this movie review. Alright, goodbye.